TFNN. Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this 5th of uh, October, Tuesday, and we're looking at, this is at 11 o'clock, and we're looking at the Tiger Financial News Network update of the market. Dow's up 427 at 34,429. Took out yesterday's high. It's challenging the 14-period exponential moving average, and if it's able by Wednesday or Thursday, to get into the 34,650 or higher area, that's going to say we could have a, a the bounce could last a little bit longer before bad news comes in again. We're looking at, oh, and key support will be at 34,300 on a very short term basis. SP is also up very sharply. The Dow is up 1.23%, SP is up 1.33%, a little bit better, and it's up 57 and 43, 57. The chart formation is worse than the Dow, though, because it took out the left side low of August, or, or, uh, September the 19th. Uh, yesterday went all the way down to the 42, I think, 80s. And now it's trying to rally strongly. So it needs to clear the 43.65 level on a closing basis to say, hey, I can go even further to 43.80, 44 area, uh, 4400 area this week. But key support is 43.32 at this particular stage. The QQQ is finally having a decent rally. It's at 1.5%. It's at 357.87. That's got a long way to go. It's got resistance in the 359s. It's got resistance at 361s, all the way to 364. And it must hold 352 on a very short term basis as key support. But this is a good rebound. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, having a nicer move than the others. Uh, no, it's held very well. It's trying to rally. It's up a dollar. It's up 250 at 2227. So the Russell. I shares the small caps are doing quite nicely. Gold took a real pounding. It's down fifteen dollars, but it's still within the range. But the dollar is trying to find its, its legs to try to move up again. It's at ninety three ninety nine. The TLT, which are bonds, gone to a lower low. This is the rates are going higher. There's no question. This is inflation. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we're looking at it all over the show. Let's get to the uh, crude oil and crude oil extended. Certainly with the bad news over the weekend, that terrible leak with the anchor that dropped right onto the... I wonder how that happens. Anyway, uh, this crude oil is up $1.54, dollar fifty-four, seventy-nine sixteen. This is a big move for crude oil. So the key support now is right in the 73s, 75 to 73 area. It's at 79.17. Stay tuned. You've got Larry Pesavento coming up right now with a new time change. Should be a fabulous show as always. And then programming all the way back, all the way through. Uh, I'll, I'll actually be back with Tom at 3.15 this afternoon. So stay tuned. Great programming coming up. Larry Pesavento. Have a great day.